Hi everyone, I'm Mike Carey with Northwest Fishing Reports. Today I want to talk to you about a technique that I really love in the spring for trout and kokanee that are up on the surface, and that's leaded line fishing. Leaded line fishing is exactly what it sounds like. The line has lead in the core. What that allows you to do is to get a little deeper. Um, and in talking about leaded line, we always talk about colors. Every 30 feet or so, the color changes on leaded line. And the purpose of that is to give you a point to come back to. So if you ask someone that's fishing leaded line, they may say to you, yeah, I had two colors out. That tells you a lot. It also allows you to always put that bait right back where the fish were biting. Now you don't tie your gear to the leaded, li leaded line. You do a liter of monofilament, usually about 50 feet or so. And in this case, I'm running a little blade, a couple of feet to a Kakita fly. And then most important, I've got this wiggle fin on here. And that's going to really, oh, we got a fish over there, but let's keep talking. Yeah, there is a fish. Well, hold on one second, friends. So, as you can see, deadly effective. Now, when you're first reeling in with leaded line, you may not feel the fish quite as much because you are reeling in that heavier line. You can see that going onto the spool right there. When we get to the last bit, to the monofilament, then it's you and the fish. Now we're in the mono, you can see that, and I can definitely feel this fish a little more. I'm gonna hoist it today. That's a nice fish. Wow, that's a really nice fish. Warden's putting out uh, fish that are around 12 inches. And then we're also getting some of the bigger ones that are running close to, four, close to 14 inches. All right, there we go. Again, we've got a sling blade. In this case, we've got a purple Kakita. That's a nice fish. These cut up, we had some yesterday that we caught. These cut up really nice, they're beautiful fish. There we go, that's a nice fish. That one's a little on the smaller size, but boy, he put up a good fight actually, so. I hope uh, the information on leaded line is helpful. Definitely, I would add it to your arsenal if you like to troll for trout and kokanee in the spring. Remember, you wanna have a little stouter reel because you are reeling in that heavy line. I'm happy with these uh, Eagle Claw kokanee rods. They have given me no problems at all. I paid 20 bucks for these a couple years ago, so I've got a bunch of them. And I like them a lot. Have a great time out there, catch some fish. We'll see you on the water and online.